Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controllers up to your Linux machine so you can set it up for the EPSXE emulator to play PlayStation 1 games. So let me show you the controllers right here. So I've got the left Joy-Con and the right Joy-Con. At the moment there's a, it doesn't fully work in terms of you can't have both joy cons or well, you can have them both connected at the same time but there'll be duplicate you know inputs so you, as you can see we've got the shoulder buttons so the problem is if you press this it will trigger the same key code that this one will you know trigger and the same with these buttons as well so that means you can't have them you know uniquely so you can only effectively use one so we're just going to use one of them if you at a later date do want to connect both of them the setup process is the same so what you want to do is go to your bluetooth settings if you're on a different linux distro you can access it however you normally would and on your controller you want to put it into sync mode so here the button if you keep that breath for a few seconds these these leds will start flashing uh, okay, so that's in sync mode now, and it'll come up as Joy-Con R, so the right Joy-Con, click on it. Once this says connected, we're all done. That's it, that's literally all there is. Now all we have to do is go to Game Pads, Port 1, Pad 1, and just configure this up. So we don't have, you know, enough keys to fully map it, but we can map enough, you know, buttons. So the old games, they mainly use the D-pad and not the analog sticks. So we're going to map these on. And there we go. Down. Right. And the game that I'll be trying won't need these, so I'm not going to map them. You can try and map them depending on the game that you are using. Again, I know this isn't the most ideal solution, but currently you can't use both joy cons you know at the moment so it's just not the best situation but currently this is the way to do it and there we go yep there we go so that's enough for crash bandicoot and let me show you it working so find the iso i need to press f3 when it launches so i can load a save state okay turn the volume off even though it's still constantly still trying to be in sync mode, that doesn't matter, just ignore that. But apart from that, as you can see, it is working. So square, X, circle, you might think in square and circle do the same thing. The original Crash Bandicoot, they did have the same functionality. And we can move around as well. It's still pretty cool, that analog stick, to be fair. And there we go. So that is Crash Bandicoot working on the EPSXE emulator on a Linux machine using a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controller. So that's it. If you have, let me just pause it. That's where I start. And I select. Currently, the way, that's the way I've got it mapped. We do have a couple of extra buttons here that you can choose to map. And these as well. So actually, you could map L1. L2, R1 and R2, so because you've got two here and you've got two there. Actually, technically, there are enough buttons to fully map the controller. It's not the most elegant in terms of being able to use it, but actually, there are enough buttons. So, yeah, there you go. So, Nintendo clearly did think ahead when they was, you know, making these, making sure there's enough keys for just a normal controller on each one of these pads. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.